In today's video with cooking with TK, I'm going to teach you guys how I made this delicious loaded baked potato casserole. That's right. If you guys want to know the ingredients and how I made this loaded baked potato casserole, please watch this video from the beginning to the end so that you too can make such a great dish for your family. Cheesy loaded baked potato casserole. Let's get started you guys. Okay you guys, the first thing you are going to need to do is boil your potatoes. I am using red recipe, uh, red potatoes. You can use recipe potatoes, any potatoes of your choice. If you don't want to boil them, you can bake them, but make sure that they are pork tender. Okay? Next, you are going to cook you some bacon. I cooked about um, 13 strips of bacon for this casserole. Next, you will cut you up some green onions. You will need about a cup and a half of green onions chopped. Next, you will chop you about a cup and a half of broccoli florets. I'm using small broccoli. Cut your broccoli into small pieces. You can also blanch your broccoli for about three minutes before cooking or you can use frozen broccoli. I have fresh broccoli here, and that small broccoli works the best, you guys. So, chop your broccoli. Next, once your bacon is done, you are going to chop your bacon. As you see, I am doing here, I am chopping my bacon to small pieces in my mini chopper. Shred me up some chicken. I have me some grilled chicken that was pre made from the store. You can buy a teaspoon trick chicken and you can shred that as well, or you can cook your own chicken and shred it as well. It can be boiled, fried, baked, it doesn't matter. But you will need some delicious tasting seasoned shredded chicken. Okay, now you guys, we are going to take our potatoes and place them like so into our pan and we are going to smash them. I am smashing my potatoes in my baking dish with a potato masher. You can smash them in with a cup, but whatever you choose to smash them down like halfway, not completely smashed, or you can cut them into pieces um, half pieces into four pieces like so okay after you have them smashed to the correct size we are going to go ahead and we are going to get that baking grease that is left over and we are going to pour it on top of these potatoes that's correct this is not a skinny dish this is a very fattening tasting dish okay Pour it all over your potatoes, like so, okay? Now that we have um, the bacon grease poured on top, we are going to season our potatoes. Season your potatoes to your likeness. I am using black pepper, and yes, I am being generous with that black pepper. I am using salt, just a minute amount, because everything else, like the bacon and the cheese, does have salt in it. And I am going to use garlic powder. Correct, garlic powder, not garlic salt. Next, we are going to take that shredded cheese. And we are going to place that shredded cheese over the top of our baked potatoes in our baking dish. Correct, cover the whole entire um, dish with um, the shredded grilled chicken, baked chicken, fried chicken, whatever chicken you choose for your loaded baked potato. Um, if you don't like grilled chicken um, on your baked potato, if you like steak, you can add steak, okay? But this dish is very tasty with seasoned grilled meat, okay? Or fried meat or rotisserie chicken. Now, we have our potatoes covered with our chicken. We are going to place our broccoli on top of our chicken that is correct place your um, chopped broccoli on top of your grilled chicken for your loaded baked potato casserole 
this dish is going to be so delicious and very tasty you guys my mouth was watering while making this dish now that we have our broccoli covering our baked potatoes chicken we are going to add those delicious bacon that's correct that delicious bacon that we crumbled up okay cover it generously don't be skimpy with it trust me everybody's going to love and savor every moment of that bacon okay now after you cover your entire dish with the bacon the broccoli and the chicken we are going to make our topping mixture you will need about one pound or 16 ounces of sour cream you will need a mixing bowl and you're going to need a, a mixing spoon place that sour cream into the bowl next once you get all your sour cream added into the bowl, you are going to add those leftover green onions into the sour cream. That's right. Now you are going to get you some shredded cheese. I am using sharp cheddar cheese. You can use mild, you can use whatever cheese you like for your baked potato. Remember, you have to season things and flavor them to your liking. But if you want to make your own shredded cheese you can because it does melt good with your own shredded cheese now we are going to stir this together and to this we are going to season it with some salt and some black pepper and a little garlic powder now you can leave the salt out because the cheese does have salt to it if you are trying to cut back on the salt and remember that bacon has a lot of salt on it as well so, what we're going to do now is we are going to put this topping on top of our um, casserole. This will be our topping of our casserole. And we are going to spread it generously. We're going to use the whole topping, all of it, every bit of it. And we are going to spread it across here with the back of our spoon onto the top of the dish okay you guys now if you're new to the channel go ahead right now hit that notification bell and that's for my old subscribers as well please have the notification bell on hit that like button because trust me this video is is not playing this dish is so tasty you're gonna love it and I hope you subscribe to my channel leave lots of comments down in the comment section because you guys know i like to chit chat and i will comment back as soon as i get your message okay now that we have our entire dish covered with our sour cream topping we are going to go ahead and spread some more of that cheese correct we're going to put some more cheese on the top that's why we only use one cup of cheese well, I'm going to be honest, I probably used about two cups in the sour cream mixture. But we're going to cover that top with the leftover cheese and the leftover green onions. Because this is going to look just like a real loaded baked potato, you guys. And we are going to cover it with the leftover bacon. That's right, with our leftover bacon pieces. Woo, woo! when i tell you guys this dish is tasty i'm sitting here now like oh my goodness it is so delicious you guys are going to enjoy it while making it now place this in the oven at 360 okay you guys degrees so our loaded baked potato minutes. casserole is done so let's go ahead and let's uncover this and let's see how it is turned out Oh my, doesn't that look delicious? Scrump diddly -umptious. Okay, you guys, this is how you make a loaded baked potato casserole. It is packed full of flavor. I hope you guys try this recipe. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Leave lots of comments down below. That notification bell will notify you each and every time I upload a video. And once again, 
Please try this delicious recipe of the loaded baked potato casserole.